I feel like I say this every time I do this, but for real, for real this time, I'm never doing this again. Hey guys, it's Tika and welcome back to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you're notified every time I post a delicious video. So if you are following me over on Instagram, which you should be, you will know that recently Miss Bianca Renee herself reached out to me to do some really cute treats for her up and coming baby shower. Bianca is pregnant right now with her second son. His name is going to be Kylo Rain. I'm so excited, like seriously, I love the concepts and the ideas that Bianca has for her showers and any of her events like it's, it's really just amazing and beautiful how everything came together and I was so honored to be a part of it yet again so in this video I'm going to show you guys how I put together these adorable cake pops just for her so let's go ahead and get started so I'm beginning with my cake already prepared in my bowl if you do not know how to prepare cake for dip treats please check out my video below and I'm actually just gonna roll this out sort of like I do cookie dough today. I have some parchment paper and I'm just gonna place a ball of this cake mix inside and using my cookie dough rolling pin, I am just going to roll that out nice and even. So for my idea, I thought it would be interesting to try using some of my cookie cutters to create some of the shapes that I was interested in making today since I have so many. And I'm happy to find out that with a little Google search, this is actually pretty common. So. I am starting out with some of my Shape Shifter Minis from Sweet Sugar Bell. I'm gonna be using this cloud first. And I'm just gonna do this like I would do regular cookie dough. I'm just going to take my cookie cutter and just smash it in. And I'm also going to just give it a little shake and there we go. So I'm gonna gently peel this off of my parchment and just check the back for any inconsistencies. And this actually is looking really, really great, especially since it's cake. Um, I have a baking sheet right here and it is already prepared with some parchment as well. I'm going to lay out my shapes on the little baking sheet and get started on my next design. So I'm going to be using this other shape, I have no idea what this is, but it's looking like rain, to create the other portion of my cake pops. I am just going to start out by, of course, pressing this into my cake mix giving this a little shake and once I feel like it has you know that perfect shape I'll go ahead and move on to the next one and do the same thing we're just going to press that in give it a little shake and try to perfect this design as best as we can just like with all of the other shapes that we made I'm going to put it on this parchment lined baking sheet we're going to actually pop that in the freezer for just a few minutes and while that is chilling I'm going to be working on my chocolate I'm starting out with some baby blue color mills color dye and I'm actually going to dye just one of these sections today the other one I'm going to leave white because obviously we are doing clouds so I'm just adding in some blue color to this and we're going to give it a little mix I also added in a little bit of sparkle to this one as well. You can't really tell, but I mean, it just, it made me happy. So that's what I did. I added in a little bit of sparkle to both of these actually. I added some to the white section as well. Um, I just didn't film that. So once everything is nice and mixed, I am going to go back in with some of my favorite Easy Thins. This helps to thin out the chocolate. It's ideal when you are dipping to have like a really good consistency. I kind of like mine to be a little bit runny. I could be wrong. I don't know. But nevertheless, I am just taking some easy thins and mixing them right into my chocolate. And once I mix this down a little bit, then we can pull out our cake and we can go ahead and get started on dipping. My cake pops are still just a little chill, but I'm going to go ahead and start dipping them out anyway. Ideally, you want them to be room temp but I was kind of on a tight schedule so I just went ahead and started to dip and they actually did come out really really well as you can see this is my first little raindrop for those of you who have been here before you already know I do not like the dip method it is not for me but like I said when Bianca asked for something 
she is going to get it. So I'm basically just going to finish dipping all of these and then we're going to move on to packaging and getting them ready to go. I did lay all of my clouds down flat. So here I am just cleaning up the chocolate along the edges. I was able to let my raindrops kind of sit up straight and they turned out to be a little bit more smooth around the edges. And then I just went on ahead and packed everything up in cellophane bags with twisty tie ribbons. And from there, I placed everything into my cake sickle boxes. If you have not seen how I package and ship cake sickles, I will leave that video linked below as well. It's pretty much the same concept. I am just now using some crinkle paper to put behind all of the cake pops so that they stay nice and sturdy as they travel. And this is pretty much it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.